Hello and welcome to my Classroom Tour 2018-19 video. So I'm going to start us off on the other side of the door and I'm going to work around the classroom. All the chairs are kind of up so I might have to move some out of the way if I can't film but it's first thing in the morning. I've only got 20 minutes to film this so I'm hoping I'm going to get through it. Um, so without further ado, let's go this way. So to the, to the left hand side of my door we have my reading corner with Jigsaw Jack. We have the news, school newspapers here and then all my book cubes. You can also see the beginnings of my reading display over here as well so I will zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So here is the reading corner. Often on here I'll put kind of things, books related to whatever we've been reading although they're all gone at the moment because the kids have enjoyed holes so much we're still working our way through all of those books. But yeah this is the reading, I we'll call it a corner but it's not really a corner it's a line basically. And um, Let's move on to the cupboard which is the next up over here. Come to the inside of my cupboard, um, I have got pots here, label, whiteboard pens, pencils, first aid kits, there's glue sticks and things there. Uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment because with transition and moving classrooms and all that, it's, yeah. So these are my maths resource boxes which normally goes next to my maths display. And hi, further up here, we've got my topic boxes uh, for displays organised by... So there's writing display, reading display, topic and maths where I put in like lettering or things that I want to keep for each topic. Um, also there are the key phase topic boxes with like the books and things for the topics and they are also up at the top as well along with my chocolate bars. At the bottom is a total mess and it just has all of my stuff to make the displays kind of a bit more zhuzh like, you know that's a word. <laughs> There's also like extra resources in here like there's glitter and felted pens and card and things like that. So yeah, welcome to Monica's cupboard, the least organised cupboard in the world. Moving, moving around the corner from my cupboard, which is just here, this is the side of the cupboard and it has my top spot display. So this is where I feature like the children's work um, from writing, that's part of our school policy. And they also have my magnetic whiteboard with magnetic order which I absolutely love. And I have the dinner menu for the kids, which is flippable. And then we have the iPad trolley, so I'll swizzle you over so you can see. So this is the iPad trolley, and it has all the iPads in. And then above the iPad trolley, I've got my visual timetable. You can see my phonics freeze up there as well. And I have pouch, that magnetic pouch there. I will link that below with all of the um, extra cards in it. I hang things like the club list on these magnetic hooks so I can kind of zoom it around. Plus the kids have a bit of an obsession with blue tack so it's always good not to have things on blue tack I find. There's also my pot here with all of my whiteboard pens in it. So just coming a little bit further over there's my interactive whiteboard here with the speaker and then underneath I have um, group morning activities. So from half past eight to nine o'clock each table has a different activity that they need to do for each day. So it just keeps them a bit, bit different. Uh, it gets the kids doing all the different activities that I need them to do. And then next up, my desk. So my desk is kind of messy. I have um, a reading display above it. Normally that's a writing display, but it's a reading display at the moment. And this is my desk. It is not tidy by any means. I have my visualizer here. Um, my laptop, I have trays here where I keep things like um, pens and uh, scissors and sticky double sided sticky tape and stickers, I have a sticker tray, um, like all of my display, putting up type stuff and random documents 
um, like labels, sticky labels, as in the blank generic ones. Um, again, more resources, my magnetic pouches, the spare ones are in there. And uh, plastic wallets in the bottom one, and these big zippy ones also. So all my plastic wallets live there, so I can grab them really easily next to my desk. I'm crouched up. Uh, under my desk, I kind of just leave all my bags and my laptop bag and things like that and just shove it under there. Thing over, we've got my teacher toolbox, also my coffee and water. Teacher toolbox is here. Um, if you want to know more about my teacher toolbox, I could do um, a bit more detail about it. But basically, I keep things in here like um, clips and um, paper clips and hooks and some pens. All of my teacher pens are up here so I can quickly grab them. My tripod for filming is here as well. Next to my desk I have these folders. I have these boxes with sort of spare letters for the kids and also some marking things. My SEN passwords so the kids like usernames and passwords although I'm going to do that differently next year so watch the space for the new one of these and like my diary and um, we have a school handbook that goes in the end one there, so they're all organised. Uh, I am going to show you down here. Uh, I keep the spare house points in these um, laundry detergent things. Uh, this is actually red team because I can't find red at the moment, but the others I can coordinate. So in there, there's the house points. Childproof, genius. Um, and the ones I want to hand, I've got in this like paint tub, which I love, and they're all in there. So over here, I have trays that have days of the week on them. So Monday, all the things I need for Monday. Tuesday, I have all the things for Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I have a spare one at the bottom for just kind of random stuff. On top here, I've got um, like my recommended reads. So these are like my personal books. And I kind of suggest what um, coloured bands they would be at our school. So the kids know what, what, what they can access. Other trays I've got down here include um, pens, so like handwriting pens, um, highlighters, uh, glue sticks, which is looking running run a bit thin on the ground, uh, sellotape, scissors, don't know why the, there's um, other stuff in there, but scissors, whiteboards, I've got other trays for whiteboards as well, lined paper, plain paper, coloured paper with random sticky tape. Uh, card, graph paper, and then scrap paper is the one that's sticking out. Luckily, you can't see it on the video. Above, I've also got um, a diary calendar thing that I never bothered to change. Felted pens and just a couple of bits and bobs. Our class novel is also there. Uh, moving left, we have this area over here. And this area is called the pit stop. So you can see all of these things on the walls and with the chairs are for reflection for the children when they have um, made the wrong choices. And next to that, I'll zoom in a little. Next to the pit stop area, I've got my chalkboard timetable, which doesn't have very much on it at the minute because we're nearly in the end of term. There's not a lot of events happening. Um, I'm going to try and show you over here, but there are children running past now. Over here, this is opposite to the door, the children have all got their trays here, so I'm not going to get too close. I also have these stackable things, but I don't have them stacked. These are for like homework handing in, reading records, homework ready to go out, so that that can all be organised here. And my TA has some trays and his homework all set out in these trays here. I also, you can see my guillotine on top over there, which I always have out because I always end up needing to trim. Coming along this way, so the trays are there, then there's my TA's table here, and I have these big sweet jar containers. I think I got these on Amazon, I'll try and link them below, um, for the children to put the house points in um, for them to be collected. Again, they're empty because of transition at the moment. This is my TA's table, which has basically all the stuff on for today as well, but it doesn't normally, I don't normally keep it like that. Um, but yeah, this is my Tia's little table that she's got. Over here, I don't know if you can see from the sun, it's where I keep um, the books. So these are the arithmetic books. 
and they are color coordinated for the tables. They're also in the same order as the tables across my room. So my tables go blue, green, yellow, red, and my boxes go blue, green, yellow, red every time. So the, it's really easy for the kids to put them back and it's really easy for me to just grab them for the right tables. Then we have publishing books. Now I will show you the publishing books. Well, I'll just pick this one. So the children, when they've done a piece of writing, they publish it. So this was the first one at the beginning of the year. And then we do them. So they really do take a lot of pride in these books. And they are like really gorgeous. Like you can see the handwriting is beautiful. So these are the publishing books, which is basically their writing. I keep the draft separately. So that was the last one we did. So yeah, it's really good. So that's where they go. Below here are my thesauruses and my dictionaries. This section here, just along from the dictionaries, is my topic area. So I have the topic books, again, organised red, yellow, green, blue. I usually have more books on here that obviously have to be moved um, for transition. So normally I have like topic related books and bits and bobs on here. And then the topic displays here. And I've got my signpost, the clock, so the classroom is just up there as well. So I can see it because this is opposite my desk and the whiteboard. As you've probably seen from my vlogs, if you've watched my vlogs. Um, moving around. Moving around a little bit further, we have got more books. So these are the maths books, again, organised in these magazine files. These are actually IKEA, as are all of the ones I have. Uh, I'll link them below for you. And uh, also reading. So, like, again, presentation and the quality of the children's work in reading is still, you know, pretty high. reading books again start exactly the same way and then we're almost full circle now because we're at my math display which is as you can see right next to my door so here we are at my math display i have these trays here and these have things in like math resources and all sorts of stuff so i have um, some group resources for group work in there i do have tracing paper in here normally but at the moment there isn't any um these are all a mess. Times table related things, fraction related things, place value stuff, um, timers, that should be on there with that. And, um, like little tubs with dice in, in there to play some games. Protractors, my door stop. Protractors in there. Mirrors, now we need all of this stuff for the sats. Then I have just kind of spare display stuff. Um, Numicon is in here. Numicon. Uh, folders from the year six class. Um, the raffle ticket. So we have a raffle draw every week for attendance. So the kids come in and they write a raffle ticket and put it in the draw pot. Um, and then they can do one every day. So they're the spare ones. I just keep them in there. Um, the phonics resources. So the phonics freeze that I showed you above my board. Um, that's where all the ones go for that. Got some reading stuff in there, um, spare like labels and folders, spare books, and colouring sheets. You never know. Never know when you need to kill a little bit of time. <laughs> On top, I've got uh, place value things and fraction things and some maths games. The children also keep their water bottles there. And above, you can see my maths display not looking super duper fabulous at the moment. And above my mass display, I always have, hello, I always have the uh, place value chart up there because I just think that the kids find it super useful. Next to my desk, I have this cupboard and inside my cupboard, it's kind of messy, but I have books, I have snacks, I have biscuits, I have my diary for next year, my porridge for the mornings, um, just some old diaries and bits and bobs in here. So it's not the world's tidiest cupboard, but it's my cupboard. Also, emergency lunch is in the cupboard. <laughs>
So in the middle of my tables, I have these um, pen pots. These are from the YPO. And I label them so that they stay organized. So the glue sticks are in the glue sticks section. And pens, rulers and rubbers, which I coordinated for the color of the table. Pencils and colored pencils and whiteboard pens. We are running a little bit thin on. So that's it for my classroom tour vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a good insight into how I organise things. And yeah, it's been great to film. So let me know if you've got any uh, advice for the next one when I'm in my new classroom, um, because I'll be filming another one and I'd like to make sure I get in everything that you want to see. So please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you think I missed out, anything you want to know. I can show you maybe in the next classroom vlog, which should be coming in September. Hopefully I won't leave it till the end of the year. And um, yes, that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.